Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is the day that we look at the YouTube comments from last week, look at them, analyze them, if there's analyzation that needs to be done, and think about them. That's what we're doing today. If you want to be in this video, leave a comment, and uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, that'd be really, really cool. We're going to go ahead and start off here with Adam TCG. Oh, by the way, uh, I've already tried to record this video once, just some inside lore, and then something happened in my video, and it's just stopped, and I'm sad, so... If, if I'm a little bit quick going through it, I've already been through this once, just so everyone knows. But it might be good for you, because I'm gonna ramble for as long. Adam TCG, you should actually wait and buy your cards two or three weeks after release when most of them have dropped a lot. Some cards won't drop and you need to have the foresight to know which cards you need to grab. But mostly given BT16, I would rather be buying the cards now instead of the cards I bought since BT16 pre-release. This is a interesting comment, and this comment solely depends on who you are and what your game is. Um, examples. If you're a competitive player, if you're waiting two, three weeks to buy the cards for BT16 to play in the regionals, uh, you were too late because BT16 is over. So that's that obviously doesn't fly for you. Now, if you're some person that wants to just have fun at their locals and doesn't care, maybe you want to play Tyrant Call with Terrymon, and... You know, you see the day release day, it's eight bucks for Tyrant, and you're like, you know, rather not, I'd wait. Well, then you got rewarded because now they're way cheaper, and uh, you don't care again because you're you're local and you're, it's just you're just whatever, you're just enjoying yourself. You're not sweating over big events or whatever. So uh, yeah, circumstance circumstantial evidence depends on what you do with this comment. If you don't care, then yeah, wait. If you do care, then buy on release day, and that's the best advice I give you. Aruka Blanca, after the BT16 fiasco, don't know about the Advikes, lol. Um, chat, if someone can tell me what the Advikes is, please let me know. If anyone knows what Advikes is, it's really funny that someone who says, I might not be right about my advice, is someone trying to provide advice by misspelling advice. Um, look. Some people are just stupid. You know, there's billions of people in the world. And some people in that range will just be dumb. And that's not a big deal. That's fine. That's just the law of averages. You have your average people. You got your smart people. You got your stupid people. That's just how it works. That's just how the world works. And uh, I was particularly hard in my last market watch on Saturday. Simply because I was trying to explain how the whole pre-sale things works and buying it on release day and, and all that stuff. This person doesn't get that, does represent the the dumb side of my community that just doesn't get it, that will provide whatever advice they want to advise before like doing any concrete evidence or anything like that. Like this person would know I'm wrong if they went and actually did the research, which is wrong to you player anyway. It's not hard to find. So uh, it, that's all good. And everyone in the comment. Anyone who replied to this comment roasted this guy, except for this pinpoint cashew guy, who even this response is kind of like, like just like a so what? I mean, he's wrong that I was wrong, but like the rest of them were all like, dude, this guy's crazy. But uh, yeah, release day is where it matters. Pre-release, yeah. Uh, next, Brady Hargit official. Demon Lords probably won't be tier 1 with Numi being nearly tier 0, just on speeds of like crazy. Plus Agudo being only 2 or 3 of, hopefully come release day it'll be more affordable secret rare. Uh, I don't like, the, I, I don't hate this comment, honestly. Uh, Japan, North America collects Numimon almost as much as North America collects blue decks. So Numimon might actually take top shelf uh, compared to Ogudamon over here on our side of things. Just because of how much North America likes the deck. I know a lot of people in the comments are going to be like, oh, Mario. I don't like the deck. If you see the numbers of the people playing this deck, you will know that North America likes playing this deck. It's, it's all there. So, yeah, I don't hate this comment, honestly, and hopefully the price will be cheap. Uh, I've learned to not hope that secret rares be cheap, because usually they're not, if they're good. But, uh, you know, it's not nothing wrong with a little splash of optimism once in a while. JG and Mac, I like the haircut looking fresh. Thank you. I right, we're back to short hair Mario. It's definitely a wave. It's interesting. Uh, Ivris Gaming, 
Alawa, personally, wouldn't classify 20 each as nothing for Diabar and Ace, but as usual, buy promos before they get support. Or if your people to learn the deck and still lose the new mon, prices go down. Yeah, uh, this is not a bad comment, honestly. The second part's accurate. You know, people will realize that Diabormon maybe isn't the best deck of the format. The promos will drop. Right now, they're inflated because we're waiting for EX6 and people are anticipating. The market is anticipating a reaction based on the cards coming out in EX6 in two weeks, week and a half, whatever. So that's fine, and that's okay. Not really a big deal, right? The other part, the top part's interesting. When I say 20 bucks is nothing, that's kind of more of a subjective subjective thing. Like, I make good money, right? I've talked about this before. 20 bucks to me is like nothing. However, for someone else, $20 might be a little more impactful. So if, I, if you ever like get turned off by a statement like that, then that's fine. That's okay. That's just your financial situation. Not really a big deal. It is what it is. And if, you, if you're looking at yourself and you're thinking to yourself, $20 is a lot. I don't know if I can justify it. I'm going to give you two pieces of advice. If you want to stay in this hobby, you should probably be more incentivized to listen to me because um, I am tend to be right. At least 99% of the time with market stuff, Digimon, I'm right. So uh, with a conversion rate like that, you'll make money. The, the, the other piece of advice is if it's just a little bit too high and you don't want to put in the effort and whatever, maybe Digimon or card games in general is not the way for you. Because uh, if you guys think $20 for a card is a lot, you should look at other card games they, that have more chance of cards that are four rows that you need. I'll just, I'll just leave it at that. That's fine. Um, Jesse Grieb, make a video on your balance wish list, Mario... Um, I've said this before. I don't need to make a video on this. I'm just going to give you the answer again right now. Uh, cards that could be hit include both Uko Mons, Monty Mon X, New Mon X. Uh, Emissary of Hope should get hit. That card's crazy. And uh, if Jap if Bandai is feeling extra cranky, they can hit Mirage Galgamon. BT11. I don't think they will. I don't think they'll hit Emissary. Uh, I think your Uko Mons aren't safe, and I think your New Mon X and your Mon X are not safe. Somewhere in there. I don't know what Bandai will do with it, but that's what I'm feeling on that. I don't need a video on that. Next, one of reviews. I love these people who watch your videos weekly, so I'm figuring out your brand of humor. Oh, it's true. It's crazy. No one. Some people don't know. That's that's fine. It's not really a big deal. Uh, Daniel Stagall. If anyone follows Japan meta, Ukos start to become not so good. Be nine 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 ten ten. They're used still, but people choose to use other things over them. I didn't even know that this was a thing. I didn't know that we had enough active play data for BT19 for people to be saying this. But, you know, maybe Ukos will fall off. Things technically do, not a big deal. <coughs> I'm dying. Oh my god. Allergies. If I'm sounding a little bit less energized, allergies. I'm getting crushed today. It's terrible. Uh, ooh, you wish too much. Patamon existing gives me hope. Virus Greymon X is unrestricted. What should be like, what should be banned to fix Numemon? I kind of just went over this. Nothing banned, but uh, yeah, just the cards I just listed above is fine. Um, Vindy's Warts. I miss when Digimon was cheap. Someone says FIFA try. I don't know any other card game compared to Price Difference. What's interesting is Digimon is still one of the cheaper card games. It is, like statistically speaking, it still is. Still cheaper than Yu-Gi-Oh. Still cheaper than Magic. Uh, still cheaper-ish than Pokemon-ish, depending on the deck you're playing. Uh, Lorcana's more expensive than it. One Piece is more expensive than it. So, uh, yeah. Right now, it just seems expensive. But, like, it's not really that bad, honestly, still. It's okay. It's fine. Uh, Jury Finkel 4253 Has Mario always kind of been buff? Just realized the long hair must have hit it. It's actually interesting. So, uh, I've been going to the gym since the end of January, like, actually trying to get hot. Um, it, it's been paying dividends, and the haircut was the next step. Uh, I'm a little more muscular. I'm still got a little bit to work on over here. Uh, still want to make my arms a little bit bigger. Shoulders are... Oh, my, I, I always had good shoulders, and those have also improved through the uh, working out. I just always had good shoulders. I don't know. Blessed. Uh, and my legs are looking fine. And my, my butt's pretty cute, too. Not gonna lie. 
So uh, yeah, no, we're we're trying to get hotter. We're 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 working on it. There you go. Um, <laughs> uh, we'll move on. Uh, Christian Garcia nine two four five. I paid around this value to make the deck high rarity, but didn't pay anywhere near three forty four for just the regular cards. Um, this is all circumstantial, right? When I make my how cheap is it videos, it all depends on what the cards are at the time I'm recording. So things will obviously fluctuate. Also, you know that you don't have to use TCG Player to buy your cards, right? You can use Facebook Marketplace. And you can ask people, hey, can I, I'm looking for this card paying 85%. You can do that. And it helps you reduce the price. So, uh, yeah, there you go. That's that. Um, Michael Iafredi. Every time Mario mentions he's going on a date, I'm so happy for him. Oh, and then thank you, Michael. And the date did go well. Yes. Yes, I had a good date for like once. It's crazy. Crazy. Uh, Ashes Fall. I think a great commentator such as yourself would know how to learn how to pronounce the Digimon names. I know that the best commentators in any format, sports, or cards would know how to pronounce everything correctly. I don't think I have to mention this, but again, just for the dumb people in my audience, when I say something wrong, like Ty Kamuya. Obviously, I know that's wrong. Obviously, I know it's Ty Kamiya. And insert whatever card you want to throw there. You know, I do it for funnies. <laughs> yeah, I do it for funnies. Uh, I would hope that would make sense. But, you know, sarcasm is missed on some people. That's not really a big deal, but it is what it is. So I'll just clarify that. Now, if I do mispronounce something, it is for comic effect, not because I just don't know. Sometimes I don't know. Occasionally, Digimon name will slip in. Um, that is like, I don't know how to say this. But then someone on Twitch chat usually tells me, and then it's in my brain. So uh, there you go. Uh, Raito Surya. Please liquidate your Madden Definitely not a Madden player that only pulled Rapidexes in his boxes. Yo, I pulled like double the Rapidexes and Madden Xs, so I, I, I relate to this comment spiritually. I feel you, man. Uh, Dog Pound General. Just wish Bandai would sell the rights to Digimon at this point. They don't deserve us fans, and we damn sure don't deserve the heartache they put us through. I'll never play another Bandai card game if and when Digimon actually dies. Interesting. Uh, wow. Uh, <laughs> uh, someone responds to like Crested DC in 10 years. But, like, Bandai won't sell the rights because Bandai likes money. They do know that Digimon is a cash cow. Uh, and they will keep it going until it dies, which it might not do, you know? Uh, we still have games that have survived. Magic's been around for a very long time. Same with Digimon. It's another one. Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I'm sure Digimon is fine. Like, besides some questionable decisions, there really are no indicators that Digimon is dying. And I'm saying that very optimistically. But the, the game's fine. For now. Anything anything is possible in the future. Maybe we come to the next BSS. I have no idea. We'll find out, though. Um, Kish, 45. Honestly, probably might just build Digimon decks and play them with friends for the time being and for fun instead of because, like, competitively, mainly because the last locals I went for the years that also did Digimon permanently closed down back in March to the owner's poor decision he made, plus the only closest locals that does Digimon and is only nine miles from where I live. But only does Sunday once every once a Sunday, and I, for some reason, uh, for some reason, one AM. Uh, this is really, 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 really interesting. So this person's kind of been like locked at a Digimon, uh, in terms of being able to really play it. Now, in a, in a case like that, there are online events and online locals you can play in. So it's not the end of the world. But maybe this guy doesn't like webcams, and honestly, I don't blame him because I think webcam events are scummy and people cheat. So maybe, maybe that's his view on that. And uh, I don't really hate that view, honestly, because I feel the same way. Uh, it sucks, but it is what it is. I think there has to be, like, some uh, self-awareness, though. Like, this guy will play Digimon just for fun. And that's fine. You know, at the end of the day, it's this is supposed to be a hobby, right? Not everyone has to play in the major events to enjoy Digimon. They can just play for fun. Like, for example, I've been getting more and more into Commander Magic. Like, I'm building a bunch of homebrew decks for commander magic not these one turn two turn kill decks that are you know thousands of dollars to build but like little fun themes and such and 
it's uh, it's been a really cool deck building. It's been really cool playing them out. This is kitchen table, uh, commander magic, and I do it for fun, only for fun. Uh, I've spent probably five hundred dollars on magic singles the last two weeks alone, just for fun, literally for fun, for no other reason except to have fun. Um, whereas I buy Digimon singles for not fun. <laughs> Because I have to. <laughs> uh, so on, honestly, I understand. And I wish this guy the best of luck playing for fun. I really do. That's what he wants to do. He should do it. And last comment of the day goes to Angel Ramirez. I feel like Bandai is doing its only... I feel like Bandai... I feel like what Bandai is doing, it's only for this month on these states. Next month will be in different states. They're just rotating the states for the regional to make it based on different card games happening. Making it easier to manage that's a very optimistic view, Mr. Angel Ramirez, about the store championships, store regionals, sorry. And I hope that you're right. I, I, I'm not that optimistic about Bandai's choices, but I do hope you're right. That would be it. That would be good. That'd be fine. Uh, anyway, that's it, for, that's it for today, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see you later. Bye.